This is a short video just to give you an overview of homework 6. So in exercise 1, given a frame you are expected to return all handles contained therein. Basically you should look at using frame fold. So by now I hope you know how fold works for lists. It should work the same for frames. Uh, you have to play with it to understand how it's used. You need to understand it by yourself. You should also use set add, and that is available in the manual for uh, sets. So the link for sets um, for the manual, record manual of sets can be found in Google. Um, so if you Google set record, you'll figure out what is set add and how to use uh, sets in record. Also, you have to do that by yourself. Um, for this problem, only closures are important, and only the closures environment is what you want to return. So basically, you want to look at all the values that are in in a frame. So you have key values. You want to look at all the values, and of those values, you only care about um, you only care about um, the closures environment. So it has to be a closure, and then you have to return its environment, and only if it's not if there is one. Right, so that's the other thing to keep in mind. For exercise two, this is a standard graph algorithm where you're supposed to return all reachable handles um, by using function contain as the function that returns the next edges. So this is a very simple breadth-first algorithm, and you start from uh, environment and you navigate memory. Basically, for each um, key value, you pass the value to contain, and that returns the new elements. Um, your algorithm must handle cycles. And just keep in mind so that you don't hard code your solution to frames. You should, it should just call, con that is just to say, call contained, do not call frame refs, okay? Frame refs is, you can use it for your tests, but don't, don't use it in the implementation of memmark. So finally, mem sweep is pretty trivial. Uh, this is a one-liner, and it's simply what do you have? You have a heap, and what you want to do is you want to retain all the elements that are in this set to keep. So you have to use uh, set operations to know whether a certain handle is in this set. Uh, the handles are the keys of of this heap, and you should search uh, homework six util try to f look at all the functions that start with heap minus uh, and see which function is more appropriate to be used in this case. This is a very simple uh, exercise. So memList, I actually gave a very close solution. If you look at video 6 of lecture 32, when I implement the toList function for yield. Uh, so basically what you have is if you, if you are familiar with the do notation, uh, you are doing three assignments, let's say. So you have bind, where you are binding op1, passing that value to op2. You're binding op2, passing that value to op3. And finally, you are returning x3. So you are asked to combine this uh, variable number of operations and simply represent, return, create a new um, monadic operation that given a list of operations returns L, right? Where L is going to be x1, x2, x3. Um, so for this, you just have, there's a lot of videos that I've uh, uploaded that are covering bind. It's just a matter of learning how to use bind. Uh, do look at video 6 of lecture 32 because it shows a very similar uh, exercise. M apply is simply you have a function f and you have a list of arguments which are going to be uh, operations such as these, right? What you want to do is you want to evaluate all of them and then you want to pass the evaluated values to this function. So you simply need to call mList to evaluate the arguments and then what do you need to do? You need to call this function on pass apply this function to the result of uh, mList of this and finally you have to make that as, a, as an effectful operation. So you need to return that value as an effect as well. And we learn how to do that 
Um, so you need to use bind and pure as parameters. So you have lots of examples of monads. You can use the bind of, I don't know, errors or, or the bind of um, states if you want, the EFF bind and the EFF pure. Uh, and for this exercise, you need to use both bind and pure. Bind is needed because of them list, and pure is needed, uh, as you will understand why suddenly. That's basically it. Uh, what is homework exercise six? Exercise six is asking. Ah, it's asking you to think about reference counting. Um, do do look at the course webpage where we have a, a link for the, um, the 2019 lecture where I cover um, reference counting. And that's basically it. I hope you have fun.